So in this groove here on the jaws and in the slot on the chuck, there's numbers which tell you which slot is one, two, and three, and which jaw is one, two, and three. It's very important that three goes with three, and two goes with two, and one goes with one, so that they all line up in the middle. And it's also important what order you put them in. You have to put the number one jaw in first. So, it just fits in the slot like that. Um, and if you're putting these other reverse jaws in, then it would fit in the other way. So, put number one in. Um, and then you can spin this until this locks in place and you can't move it. Uh, the way that works is a spinning gear in there um, that pulls the jaws in with these teeth. So put that in until it's locked. And this spinning gear spins that direction when you're tightening. So the next slot would be number two, it's labeled here. So put the number two jaw in. And then tighten it until it's locked in place. But you, want, you don't want to go too much farther because if the gear comes around and passes the number three slot, then it'll make a full rotation before you get to this slot again, and then number three jaw will be out a tooth. So you just wanna tighten it until it's locked in there, but no further. Then we can put the number three jaw in and tighten this all the way down, and they should all meet in the middle. Like that. And if we spin it, you can see that it is the middle. So that is how to replace and align the jaws in a Harbor Freight lathe. And most lathes, which are three jaw shocks, will have a similar process um, with the one, two, and three and you'll have to find and mark which ones are one, two, and three. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.